wrote a great op-ed in the New York Times talking about, is this really something new? this type of fast reporting, this competitive, I'm very competitive, I'm more part of the headline generation. He maintains it was a going back to our foundations when the press was found in quite a different atmosphere, when the press would report that the president's mother was a common prostitute brought over by the British Army. Imagine if someone did that now. We have a great tradition of freedom of the press in this country, unpopular press. If the first lady is concerned about this internet cycle, what would she have done during the heyday when there was 12, 13 editions of a paper in one day? What would she have done with that news cycle? That's the foundation, that's what makes this club great, is the tradition. And I think we have a tradition of, uh, of uh, provocative press. And that I maintain that I'm the new, new face on that. I'll take that for a season. But a lot of the stuff I do is serious stuff. I was first to report that the encryption was missing from a Laurel satellite, for example, a couple weeks ago. I, I didn't see the main press reporting that one. Uh, so I, not everything I do is gossip or bedroom. To the contrary, I think that's just an easy uh, label to dismiss me and to dismiss the new medium. But uh, I, I'm, I'm excited about the launch of this internet medium, and I, I get yeah, the freedom of the press belongs to anyone who owns one. Tonight, the Drudge Report and Infowars are once again in the crosshairs as the U.S. government seeks to regulate conservative media via election laws. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist whose stories often make their way from his website, Infowars, where on any day you can find headlines about vaccines, mass fluoridation, and the 9-11 cover-up, into the so-called mainstream GOP establishment. Alex Jones was a champion of Clive and Bundy from the very beginning. Because he's saying he'll do whatever he has to uh, to not be, uh, you know, have his grazing rights stolen uh, by these pirates. Drudge elevated the story, and it made its way onto Fox News' airwaves. Next thing you know, so-called mainstream Republicans are calling people like this patriots. The conservative website that's called The Drudge Report uh, pulled out all the stops today to promote a big, new, bombshell video. Today, the leading conservative website's headline was this. Civil War, Senate to go for handguns. I'm an addict. I, I'm a Drudge addict. I, my homepage is actually something else, National Review, but oh. I find myself going to Drudge all the time Fancy. because as a communications professional, you can tell what's going to come down the pike. If there's a siren on Drudge Report, you're like, oh boy, better go knock on the Oval Office door and let them know what's going to happen. Walkergate. Yes, we're calling it that. It's the latest Hillary conspiracy theory that set the internet to blaze after the Drudge Report questioned whether Clinton was using a walker in this People magazine cover photo. Well, internet pioneer Matt Drudge created a firestorm over the weekend, tweeting, just paid the Obamacare penalty for not getting covered. I'm calling it a liberty tax. But a White House representative firing back, tweeting, flat lie, no fee for previous years. Scary how much influence he once had. And then the White House shot back and said, you know, made some cheap shot about, oh, he used to be relevant. Are you kidding me? Matt Drudge <laughs> used to be relevant. Let me give you the numbers. In one month, go on the website, 800, almost 810 million unique views on the Drudge Report. I guess that uh, a nice Twitter fight between the White House and Matt Drudge. Uh, people had suggested I start a mailing list. So I collected the emails and set up a list called the Drudge Report. One reader turned into five, then turned into a hundred. And faster than you could say, I never had sex with that woman, it was a thousand. <laughs> five thousand, a hundred thousand people. The ensuing website practically launched itself. Last month I had six million visitors and I currently have a daily average larger than the weekly newsstand sales of Time Magazine. Check out these numbers. About 33 million visits in just the last 24 hours alone. Almost 900 million in the last month and get this over 11 billion in the last year. Some people love him, some people hate him and the White House may fear him because they can't control him. Anyone for any reason can launch a website. Little to no money, internet connection, local phone. The modem lets you cover the world. The modem lets you read what's happening if there's an earthquake uh, in Alaska seconds after it happens. I think that's fun and dramatic for free by a medium that was built by taxpayer money. So uh, perfectly realized. And uh, again, 
let the future begin. Any way you look at it, Matt Drudge is now a global icon. Not just here in the United States, but worldwide. He is an example of independent true media challenging the Goliath state-run systems. Matt Drudge is a visionary and a futurist, and I admire him because he's a folk hero. He's a grassroots person who was able to basically leverage his instinct for the pulse of the people and change the way the world sees news and information. And he's also had the courage to not just carry InfoWars.com stories, but countless other grassroots media stories and really change the narrative towards one that is more based on reality and empowering the people and liberty. Matt Drudge is classic Americana, and he's a great example, not just to our generation, but future generations to come. And when the history books are written on the info wars and the media wars of the 20th and 21st century, Matt Drudge's name will be right there at the center. Now, that's powerful broadcast over radio, but in the next 30 minutes, we'll post the video up on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, and I'm going to tweet it out. And even if you don't like Matt Drudge, you should understand, folks, that he promotes the entire political spectrum of thought, uh, not just libertarian or conservative ideas. And so many times, we wouldn't have beaten gun control legislation or other really bad things when the fight is just so close if Drudge wasn't there. <clears throat> Drudge has helped InfoWars.com to a massive degree and you know, caused the White House to respond to what we're doing and what we're saying. And uh, overall, has fought against the police state, the surveillance grid, the cloning. Back when Drudge used to do a Sunday night radio show, I would listen every time I could. Uh, and it was a more you know, calm, professional version of what I do here on air back at the time. I've gotten a little bit more professional over the years. But the issue is we need to get the people involved in media. I'm so dedicated to this. I've already skipped a break last hour, and I just skipped this break. That's how we fund the whole operation. It costs thousands of dollars every time I do it. That's how dedicated I am to this, is that I just, just can't stop working. I can't stop thinking. I can't stop trying to figure out how to not be a slave. And how to expose that we knew the NSA was listening to people through their cable boxes 16, 17 years ago. I'm on record. We knew the smart meters were going in in many areas 10 years ago. We knew about the, the, the urban warfare gun confiscation plan 18 years ago. And the fact that we've been exposing it and you've been exposing it means we've held a lot of it off. Even though now it's starting to come to fruition, people always say, it's one of the simple labels to throw at us for, for non-thinking folks and propagandists who are targeting non-thinking people. Oh, where's the FEMA camp? Where's the New World Order? Where's Big Brother? Where's the... It's happening. Our government's funding Al-Qaeda. They're murdering Christians everywhere. There's total surveillance. Microphones being put up nationwide on street corners. Been going on for about 20 years, but now it's ubiquitous. It's going in everywhere. The flesh-eating bacteria, the, the, the diabetes doubling, tripling, quadrupling, the, the cancer rates exploding, the, the people's language shrinking, people obsessed with their smartphones. It's all happening. But there'll be a renaissance against all of that, and you are that renaissance. You, believing in yourself, starting a blog, starting a blog radio show, a vlog, starting a video uh, piece on YouTube, and not infighting like Cass Sunstein and the Pentagon go out with bots trying to stir you up with all the racist stuff they put up on both sides. But, but just sticking to issues, sticking to what the technocrats are doing, we are the vast majority. And the vast majority do want freedom and private property and do want true diversity of media. And I agree with Matt Drudge. We're going back to where every major city had up to 10 to 15 newspapers. Small towns would have two or three. Because that's how everybody got their news before radio and television got really big. And so you had reporters battling for the scoops, battling for the latest info, battling for the dirt. And it made us a much freer society. And people wanted that morning edition and that lunch edition, and that evening edition, and that late, late, or that extra, extra. You know what extra, extra means? 
It's an extra edition. The newspaper stands were just packed full of just, oh, my gosh, what, what happened here? What happened there? And if somebody was wrong, they'd get sued, and, 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 and there'd be court cases, and there'd be fights over it. And it was exciting. It was like the Internet, 1920s-type newspapers, 1900-type newspapers. Places like New York City had 20-plus daily papers or more. Dallas had more than eight papers. It was down to two when I was a kid, now one. It was Dallas Times Herald and the Dallas Morning News. My mom worked at the Dallas Morning News. We're going back to that, and they don't like it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what conspiracy theory labels are. Oh, uh, InfoWars is questioning why the plane flew that flight path. Yeah, he wears a tinfoil hat. Boston Globe said, the tinfoil hats are out. And Weird Al Yankovic came out and said, the, the tinfoil hat people. Boy, how intellectual. You don't believe known wires in government. And so you got a tinfoil hat. Or you got Harvard studies that fluoride lowers IQ by about 10 points in children if they drink it for just a year. And sevenfold increase in bone cancer. I mean... What's their answer at the city council? They call me a tinfoil head up on the dais and make fun of me. And the local radio stations make fun of me and go, yeah, the nutcase that thinks that, you know, Martians are putting stuff in the water. No, Martians aren't doing it. The globalists are. The Nazis and the Soviets put fluoride in the water, and that's in two different Pulitzer Prize winning Literally, I mean, I mean, it's just so stunning to see how they are denying all of this. And how they're saying, you just can't even ask questions. Well, we are going to ask questions, and you don't control the narrative anymore. And we don't believe anything you say anymore. And we're learning how the world really works right now, together. There's the headline. Weird Al channels Alex Jones a conspiracy-laden Royals parody. Yeah, if you don't like royalty, uh, then you're insane to put a tinfoil hat on. That's base propaganda like you're a moron targeting you like you're a fool. And you see the tyranny, you see the lies, and they just go, tinfoil. That's your intellectual response is to say tinfoil. And to make fun of people that think there's fluoride in the water. There is fluoride in the water. Now, before I go any further, please support this operation. It's also important, even if you don't want to be part of the new media, the new dominant media, the new free media, the, the open media, to support real media and to promote it, tell people about it word of mouth, and to purchase products from the sponsors of our local AM and FM affiliates of InfoWars.com. To go to InfoWarsLife.com, we finally got in more of the silver bullet, haven't had it for two and a half months. It will sell out very, very quickly at InfoWarsLife.com, the best colloidal silver out there, bar none in my view, done amazing things when I've been sick, when nothing else worked. InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. We have a special on the fluoride shield that detoxifies a whole bunch of stuff and chelates with the nascent iodine survival shield 25 percent off both of those respectively and that special is going to end soon it's available at infowarslife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139 and i want to thank you all for supporting infowars you're standing right beside us and deserve as much credit as i do or as matt grudge is and you are just as this important as the new york Genesis times in fact you're more important because they've been caught being big giant liars I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that was good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO or organic super male vitality formula super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose i jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day i look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality and getting the day started it's not just the super male vitality all the products in infowarslife.com are simply amazing visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from infowars life